Today's video devotional is dealing with delighting in difficulty. While I was pastoring a church out in southwestern Kansas, I had the opportunity to take care of all the church long needs that included mowing, edging, uh, cleaning up afterwards. One hot summer day, I remember going out and I was weed eating and trimming around the parsonage. And at that time, I had a Ford Expedition parked in the driveway. And I remember walking over to my tr uh, Ford Expedition after I was done. And I saw, man, that back glass sure does look clean. Now, if you're familiar with southwestern Kansas, and if you know that if you live right off a of main highway, you'll know that there's no way that a glass could be that clean. And it wasn't clean because it wasn't there because the glass had broken. I guess while I was trimming around the church or trimming the grass edge that a rock had skipped up and knocked out my back window of my Ford Expedition. So I could say I was really not that happy. So I went into the house and I started calling around places trying to find a window to go on the back of my Ford Expedition. And they were telling me it was going to be $1,100 to replace that back glass. Now, if you're pastoring a small church in a southwest Kansas, you don't have $1,100 to spend on a bag glass for your Ford Expedition. So I kept calling, and I was able to find a place that was able to do it for $200, and they had it in stock. So I just told them, listen, I'll be right down. So I proceeded to get in my Ford Expedition, and we headed down the street, and we got to the glass place. And I went in and I told the lady the story and we were just sitting there. It was just her and me, the receptionist. And while they were working on my vehicle, I was, can I say perturbed? I was kind of mad because I really didn't want to spend $200 to replace a back glass. But as I was sitting there, I was just being kind of miffed. Then the receptionist started talking to me and she asked me, what do you do? And I go, I'm a pastor. Then when I said that, she started to open up and tell me things that she was going through and that her daughter was going through and how she used to go to church, how things used to be in her relationship and how she had fallen away from uh, doing the things that she knew she should do. And I just sat there and all of a sudden the little light went off in my head and I knew that God had a purpose and that God had a plan for me being there at that time. So I began to talk to her and I gave her encouragement and I asked her if I could pray with her and she said she would love that. And I prayed with her and right after I got done praying for her, the guy came in and said, all right, you're ready to go. So I prayed with her and told her if there's anything else I can help you with to let me know. As I was going back to the parsonage that day, driving in my Ford Expedition with a new fixed back windshield, I remember God speaking to me that there was a purpose in all of this. Delighting in difficulty is difficult. Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians 4.4, 4, to rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. And on the surface, that command seems doable as long as we find ourselves in non-difficult situations. But Paul is giving us the command while he is in jail, the complete opposite of a difficult or a non-difficult situation. God has called us to delight even in the midst of the most difficult situations. Rejoicing is difficult. Rejoicing in difficulty isn't easy. If you're the Apostle Paul, but difficult for everyone else who has tried to follow this command, Paul knew that rejoicing or delighting in difficulty was not about the difficult circumstances as much as it was our decision to rejoice. Can I tell you today, make the decision to delight even in the midst of difficulty. Your decision to be obedient may have a great impact upon someone else's life and the kingdom of God. I know a certain receptionist in a glass shop in Southwest Kansas who couldn't agree more. Delight in difficulty. 
glorify God today in the midst of all your circumstances and give him the praise and glory that he deserves. Be blessed today.